from today, once you have that dream, and if you already have one, let your dream be equal to your act. If opportunity is gotten not at your door, create one. Build a door. Academic City University provides you the resources to do that. Be ambitious. Ambition is not a sin. Let your plans be at par with your belief. And in four years' time, we'll be back here again to celebrate a graduation. Hey beautiful people, thank you for clicking to watch this video. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Lillian. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. And in today's video, I'm taking you guys to Academic City University. This university is already building ahead. They're already preparing their students for the future. They already have an idea of what the future will look like and they prepare you a according to their belief to be ahead and for your information any of the schools you see on my on my channel feel free to go to their website so this video is not being sponsored but if there is any school you see here on my channel and uh, you want to apply all you have to do is go to their website for more information regarding the school or that they have to offer you all right so already academic city is already doing amazing this school actually manufactures a ventilator um I, I really didn't know that until the time of research for this video actually this school is owned by a Ghanaian and one thing I would like you to know about the private universities in Ghana is that most of them if not all of them are affiliated to different universities in the western countries all you have to do is go to the website get to know which country or which university they are affiliated with all right let's go to the campus meet the staffs meet the founder and meet the students let's go <music> I know you are asking yourself, does this place actually exist in Ghana? Well, I asked myself the same question when I came across Academic City Trending number 1 on Twitter. Out of curiosity, I decided to find out what it was and I realized it was a private university at Hachu in the greater Accra region. At Academic City College, a world-class STEM program provides latitude, depth, and a platform for our students to rethink, recreate, and re-engineer the future. What I think is unique about what Academic City offers is that it's not a traditional lecture-type kind of learning. It's what we call experiential or active learning, where students are fully engaged and courses are project-focused. And of course, we have labs to back that. And our class sizes are so small, and they are purposefully designed so that students would have one-on-one -on -one with faculty. But we pride ourselves in giving students the opportunity for hands-on experience, building and developing the systems we learn about. Don't get me wrong, the theory is very important and we will teach the theory, but we don't want them to leave campus without with all the head knowledge and no practical knowledge. My approach, I think, is just to be a facilitator, to guide them, not to be their lecturer, not to be their superior. You know, I want them to feel that they can actually surpass me, what I've done in my life. That, to me, is very important. The success for me is when they do better than their teachers. The reason I chose Academic City is because of the vision. They are trying to raise entrepreneurial leaders that will not only affect Africa but the rest of the world. My favorite thing about the school is the ability of students to express themselves freely. Africa is rising. Academic City University College is producing young African leaders that are future ready. Our students are looking to do new things. We have faculty members who are dedicated to help rewrite the narrative for Africa. 
uh, we have majors that most of our similarly placed institutions do not have. Many of us got involved with the Academic City mission when we realized that what we wanted to do was to bring the best international experiences right here to Accra. The future is shaped around artificial intelligence. The future is shaped around robotics. The future is shaped around biomedical sciences. In Ghana, our students know to go to medical schools. But most of the areas of employment in the future are around the biomedical sciences and biotechnology. We know that the jobs of the future do not look anything like the jobs of today. That is why we are teaching the core fundamentals of these courses by infusing it with new and emerging technologies such as robotics, artificial intelligence and biomedical. For example, in our business programs, we make sure that all students do programming. We make sure that all our students undertake entrepreneurship um, courses, and that is embedded in everything that we do. So the concept of the small campus, the small residential campus, is one which many of us have had. A small residential campus means that students are in constant interaction with each other and with staff and faculty. It's a round-the-clock learning experience. So here at Academic City, we offer core engineering courses in IT as well. So we offer mechanical engineering, industrial and systems engineering, electronics and communication engineering, electrical and electronics engineering, and computer engineering. Now what makes these courses unique is how we deploy the courses. We are very hands-on here at Academic City. So every course that we deploy, the students get the opportunity to actually practice and apply the knowledge that they're getting. Our mode of instruction is different. Experiential learning. We've moved completely from the traditional way of teaching so that in our classrooms, theory meets action. So our programs are designed to be contextualized and unified. So our approach is such that in our teaching and learning strategies, we think about how the business student, um, the IT student, the engineering student, are all able to come together and look at how they solve a problem. Because in the real world, that is how it happens. You don't work in a, a business person doesn't work in isolation of other functions. So what we do is try and and integrate those functions within the class, in our teaching and learning, in our courses, in the projects that we work on, such that students understand the relationship between all the various functions. The interesting thing about extensional learning is we can't teach any one person everything there is to know in this world, okay? But we can give you or teach you how to learn for yourself. So when we take you through a topic, we cover what we can cover within the time frame we have to cover, but then we should be able to go through the additional examples and learn whatever there is to learn to build up your knowledge in that subject or field. We provide leadership, both practically in the classroom and also bringing in experienced authorities in leadership. People who have gone out there and experienced to come and tell our students what opportunities await them and what skill sets are anticipated for them to be successful. We've also had a number of workshops for CV preparation, interview preparation, and just how to go about your professional life. We've had talks where we learned how to get our social media platforms ready for interviews and recruiters. Faculty members in Academic City are wonderful with the relationship they have with the students. I'd love every university to have such a relationship with the faculty members and the students. So many of my conversations with students have to do with resolving personal challenges, academic challenges, or questions about what the world of work will be like. I'd like to think that in four years, we end up with students who are much more robust, who have a clearer sense of themselves, who have a clearer sense of what they want and where their strengths lie, that they can then take to the world of work and become successful workers. What we try to do here at Academic City College is to empower them to become entrepreneurs, to become the next Bill Gates, to become the next Zuckerberg, to become the next Dangotes. What is possible elsewhere is possible here as well. But we, like all similarly placed institutions, have to be deliberate about how we go about educating the next generation of Africans. 
As we move forward beyond the year of return, we want you to know that Academic City University College is the best place for you to be. If there's anything the new coronavirus taught us is that we need to be self-reliant. We need to look inwards um, to be able to come up with solutions ourselves. What got me to take up this challenge is that it was at a time that borders were closed, countries were having to look inward. At the beginning of this crisis, my understanding was that there were only 67 ventilators in the country. And as you know, there was a global panic as to what this pandemic, the outcome of this pandemic was going to be. So we just started working on trying to develop um, a system uh, for ventilation so that in the event that the crisis actually hits, uh, there will be a way to, to remedy the situation. So I sent a call out on Facebook and had over 100 volunteers who responded to the call. Um, the students came from home, we picked them all the way from Koforidia and drove them down here under a special permit. Um, and then we had our technicians who were diligent um, and stepped up to the plate. So it was volunteers and students um, pulling together resources to make this happen. I joined the project because I saw it as a form of community service like volunteering to help solve a problem. My role on the project has been more of the person in charge of electronics controls and logistics, I should say. The designs they came up with, which they modeled in SolidWorks, was the same design that we ended up putting in the 3D printer to actually print some parts. I think they played a very, very critical role. And this goes to show that, you know, engineering is not just for men, it's equally for women. So the initial intent was to come up with something that was uh, easily assemblable locally. Um, parts were local that we could react very fast to put a series of these systems in the field. What we set out to, to achieve was a low-cost ventilator and we were able to do that. If you're an engineer, everything that you design could be designed for the first time, right? Anytime you get an opportunity to step in and do something, it will be for the first time. This is the new Africa. For more information on our admissions process, visit our website. Anyways, this school, like I told you guys, I didn't know about the ventilator until during the period I was doing research about them to get to know more about what they got to offer get to see if they are coming on my channel to be featured here because i only want to give you what works i only want to give you the best and they were able to convince me in so many ways another way they convinced me already before i even did the research is i know an alumni all right from the school she graduated from the school and she's she's okay she's doing amazing she's good to go face the world like i've always done i like to take you guys back to the people that have taken the action before people that were here people that have taken this route people that have graduated i mean i mean the alumni of any of the schools i post here because they are the greatest feedback and the best testimony ever but in the case of academic city because they are pretty new we can actually see the future at least we can guess the future of, we can guess the future of the alumni of academic city like i told you guys i know one of them online here i could not find videos regarding them but what i can find is them graduating and all that their families are saying regarding academic city so let's go check them out anyways and get to guess their future and see if you are interested let's go and i'll be back my name is sean wilson i studied accounting in academic city i'm part of the class of 2024 and i'm the recent past academic city student council president my experience over the four years has been formative i say that because i've witnessed i've seen myself grow from one stage to another achieving things that at first were just daydreams and i brought them into reality having been the acse president has made me more resilient because um, being in office you have to face different challenges and when you try to do the right thing a lot of the time it's not everyone that's going to understand you or some people may not exactly understand your vision but i've been able to go through all the turmoil and achieve everything that i set out to achieve as the acse our legacy project was to create a welfare fund so what the fund seeks out to do is to help students continuing students that are in 
need sometimes we have situations where maybe after being in school for two years some um, students lose a parent or a guardian or whoever is sponsoring them financially so what the fund seeks out to do is to hate students that are in that kind of situation to next acsc president i encourage you to be resilient and to be empathetic to take into consideration the different people that come from different cultures and different situations around you so that you'll be able to serve them better. What's next for me? I haven't exactly figured it out, but I know the future is bright and I'm waiting to see where life takes me. Congratulations, class of 2023. Go forth into the world with your acquired knowledge and leave your mark wherever you find yourself. Time in Ghana has been life changing. The weather's been kind of rough. It's uh, it's really hot here compared to New England. I've been in Ghana for the past two months working on development engineering, and it has been an incredible experience. It's been really fun working on my projects. We got a lot of work done, and it was really it was really moving being able to work with so many different people. Here at Academic City College, we moved in the first day to an amazing dorm. Uh, the campus is something like I've never really seen before. The campus is beautiful. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. The students here are very warm and inviting. They're willing to help out with anything. I couldn't get my room open when I got my key and they helped me countless times. And it's been an awesome experience and who knows, maybe I'll be back one day. And my experience here at the conference has been one of a kind. I've it was really cool to see the differences between how they learn here and how we learn in, in America. I feel like I'm learning something new every day that I'm here. And just the culture is so warm and incredibly inviting. It was really cool learning about what their lives are like, what they do every day, and what it's like to live in Ghana for your whole life instead of just two months. Not only are the people extremely nice, but I've also made some great connections here, um, hopefully ones that are lifelong. And overall, just Ghana and ACC are incredible places. Yeah, it is safe to say that the future is bright. From what we can see, we can look from a distance, we can guess that they are going to do excellent so what happened is the reason you may not have seen a lot of the alumni video like a chassis where i have you know posted before my previous video in case you like to see that one um i'm going to link it here so in case we couldn't get tons of videos regarding the alumni of academic city university it is due to the fact that this school is pretty new they are young but already from what you see you can guess where they are heading you can't go wrong that is for certain with all of this seminar all of this exposure all of this interaction all of this uh, opportunities on ground for the students there's no how they can go wrong like i said i know an alumni of this school she recently graduated from here and she's not doing badly for herself the good thing is they equip you not to suit a particular job but to suit life so that you can conquer whatever you come encounter with which is pretty nice anyways like I always do it like I love to do it I like to see the impact that a school or 
a human is making around their environment. So let's go back to the campus and take a look at the impact the academic city university is making around its country, continent, and the world at large. Let's go, and I'll be back. Let's go. Three years ago, students of Academic City came together with a concept of developing a program that students would come together and solve problems in Ghana. This year, the theme for Tech Expo is exploring innovative technology in healthcare. We brought together teams from high schools and universities and they built projects based on the theme, that's healthcare. One thing that is unique about Tech Expo is that we try to solve African-based problems so that we can help our community. My overall impression of the event today, I was really, really impressed to see the level of innovation, the level of creativity from both the university level and from the senior high school level. Um, we had a lot of solutions for our healthcare industry, which actually made me very excited about what is possible or what the future holds for Ghana. We have solutions for neonatal units, we have solutions for um, medical facilities, and we had also technologically advanced solutions as well. This was truly impressive. We chose to sponsor this program because we at Access Bank, we believe in the youth and things that has to do with technology and innovation. In fact, one of our core values is um, innovation and also we have passion for our customers. So things that has to do with our customers, we are delighted to sponsor. I've seen quite a number of innovations today and the innovations have been wonderful, um, both from the, those in the university and those in the senior high schools. They've really put together world, I mean, real world solutions to most of the problems that we have and, and I am very impressed. I think the industry can partner uh, with these. Most of these uh, innovations are still at the prototype level, so they need a lot of mentorship, they need help, but industry can partner them to be able to bring them uh, to fruition. For instance, I saw somebody, uh, I think it's from um, Fansipim, Infantipim uh, is doing an incinerator. Uh, they're doing a medical device that can incinerate and sterilize uh, equipment. I think that is something that is needed in our healthcare. Every girl is talking about about oxygen, producing oxygen, and this is very important because we we always run out of oxygen in this country. And so, if you have a system that can produce uh, oxygen at a very cheap level, that is that is wonderful. So, I think there are a lot of these little innovations that that uh, when there are uh, industry partners with with these schools they can they can do wonderful stuff we feel happy that we won this competition we are looking forward to doing the same next year and when we go to school we we'll talk to our administration and get some investors so that we can get this project on a bigger scale and try to send it to sell it into the market out there for each and every hospital to purchase one thank you Pleased to welcome you to the first international conference on development engineering and to this new institution. This event is taking place at the right time. It is an opportunity to highlight the remarkable outcomes that co defined and co created solutions could contribute to many areas of life, especially in the developing world. Ladies and gentlemen, this conference is intended as a platform that provides valuable opportunity for researchers, academics, representatives of government, industry practitioners, trade associations, decision makers and NGOs to listen, dialogue, share experiences and to deploy outcomes into their various communities. Let's make today and tomorrow a great beginning for development engineering as a mainstream discourse and as an outcome-driven mobilization. Thank you and welcome to Academic City College. Um, 
So I'm going to talk about new frontiers for development engineering, which is a field that is about to be born. And I actually think that in some senses, the perspectives of development engineering that we're going to present here today represent a more inclusive perspective that is different from what is being practiced in many places where there's the idea that you create in the West and you transfer to Africa. What this is going to look at is the whole notion of co-creation of ideas, co-implementation with a common vision, with multiple cultural perspectives that allow us to visualize and appreciate the reality of what is present today. It's a honor to have all of you here. So many of you have flown in from different parts of the world. You can see there is tremendous potential, you know, waiting to be tapped in this part of the world. And I'm glad that Dr. Fred and his team are doing an amazing job of getting us to this point. And I'm very happy to have our partners from WPI here that are trying to help us in making sure we achieve our goals of being one of the most innovative centers of education in West Africa so that our aspiring kids can turn out to be some of the best that we can produce in this part of the world. We're happy to have you all here and have a great conference. It is safe to say that their school fees is super affordable. Please, this is not because I have that money, but because this is fair. I mean, for a private university, this school fees is amazing. I may not tell you how much, and you can find out more when you visit the website or when you visit their office. So, but here I can tell you for certain that this is not bad at all for a university. This amount of school fees is, is fair, in my own opinion. In my humble opinion not because i have but because i think investing in the life of your child is just as important as the money itself why i love the schools in ghana is it takes you back to the secondary schools you get to guess the future of the students right from senior high school and you can see the every girls and the other schools here you know they already know what they want right from secondary school kind of good anyways i do hope that this video is helpful and that you will visit their website and do not be shy to tell them where you know about them from all right i hope that you did enjoy this video and that i will see you in my next one bye